The following video provides instruction on how to properly replace a control box on a Transmotion medical stretcher chair. You will need the following tools for this replacement. 5 16 socket, 3 8 wrench, flathead screwdriver, fathead pliers, and a support chain. Remove the battery from the top of the base cover. This only applies to the TMM3 series stretcher chair. Lift the rubber cover slip up on the column for access to the base cover. Using a support chain, raise the back of the base cover to secure it in place. Use your flathead screwdriver and turn to the unlock position. Then remove the control box cover. Before removing wires, be sure to label each one. This will make placement easier. Remove the wires and place off to the side. Using your pliers, remove the wires from the control box, holding the strain relief when pulling the wires out. Using your socket, remove the four screws on the control box bracket. Then remove the three control box screws using your wrench and flathead screwdriver. Now you can remove the old control box. Install the new control box, securing it with three screws. Reinstall your control box bracket, front end first, then back. Securely tighten all four screws. Reattach your wires to the correct ports. Then secure in the wire restraints located on the top of the control box. Failure to retain the wires will prevent the control box cover from attaching properly. Place the control box cover on the back end first. Then push down on the front while pulling back. You'll feel the control box cover slide into place. Using your flathead screwdriver, push down on the cover and turn the screw to the locking position. Remove the support chain and set the base cover into place. Lower the rubber cover strip and secure it around the column. Reattach the battery to the top of the base cover. This applies only to the TMM3 series stretcher chair. This concludes the control box replacement. Thank you for taking the time to learn the proper steps on how to replace the control box. If you have any questions or would like further clarification, please contact the Transmotion Medical Service Department.